This lesson on linear combinations is an extension of the previous lesson on basic statistics. There we were looking at single data sets about one particular thing, and we were computing measures of central tendency as well as measures of dispersion that helped us summarize that big data set so that we could represent that data set without carrying all of the data forward. In this case, with linear combinations, we're going to be talking about combining two different data sets and trying to understand what do we know about the whole combination when we have information about the underlying parts. The specific relatively intuitive example we'll look at will be stock portfolios. So there's lots of data about individual stocks, and the question then becomes when you put individual stocks together in a portfolio, what can you then say about the portfolio? In some cases, the variation within the data returns for an individual stock will amplify together, and you'll find that the portfolio itself has amplified highs and amplified lows. In other cases, your goal will be to combine stocks in a way that you dampen that volatility and stay closer to the middle. The concepts that you need beyond what we've already covered in the basic statistics lesson in order to handle those combinations are the concepts of covariance and the related factor of correlation. And what we'll do in this lesson is return to the concepts from the basic statistics and then layer into it this covariance issue, which is the part of the comp combining of data sets that helps you understand do things move together, in which case you amplify highs and lows, or do things dampen. And covariance and correlation will be the key concepts. We'll see the formulas, and then in Excel, we'll cover the mechanics that you need in order to understand how to implement them appropriately and get the answers that you're looking for.